a quick demo for you on some of the smaller teapots. The reason why you want to get a smaller teapot is because you want to enhance the personal enjoyment of the tea. What happens with a lot of larger teapots is that you end up quite naturally filled up with a lot of water. You are going to dilute the tea or you're going to put a lot of tea leaves in it and then you're going to try to drink it all up. So unless you are really a big tea drinker, chances are you're going to waste quite a lot of tea. Um, and yeah, I mean, why force someone else in the house to drink it? You know, it's your cup. So, yeah, I always encourage customers to actually get into the habit of buying a smaller teapot. Today, we're going to show you a few of the smaller ones, more for personal enjoyment. In the front, this one is called a Zisa teapot. It is an unglazed a a clay teapot from China. Zisa means purple clay. I know it's not purple, and typically they're not. Um, the important thing is that Zisa teapot is um, it's pretty strong, it's unglazed, so um, generally for tea purists, definitely use only one kind of tea per Zisa teapot because over time the tea flavor from whatever tea you've been making will be absorbed into the teapot itself. So after a while you will find even pouring some hot water in it and just drink it, you're going to have some quite nice wonderful flavor in the in the water so this is the Jisa teapot this one here is called Gai Wan Gai Wan is usually some people call it a tea bowl there are large ones, there are small ones, this one is kind of large um, and it's got a lid and it's got a saucer now the interesting thing with the Gai Wan is that you can use it as is uh, to drink tea straight out of it uh, or you can use it kind of like a teapot to serve tea here we have got Japanese style teapot they come in all shapes and sizes with different materials now this one is quite nicely made it's actually got this inbuilt kind of infuser type thing you know with the clay with a lot of holes pierced through it so you, your leaves just go straight in. So what I want to do is, as you can see, that these, these utensils actually don't have water here today. So I'm really just going to show you how you actually hold them today. It's just going to be a quick um, demonstration today. I'm a bit of a lefty. But of course, you know, if you do the right hand thing, it's the same. So hand on the on the on the on the on the tip there will just help to secure it. So you go like that. This one is quite the same. Now what you do is these fingers here, this one at the top, and pull it straight. Okay, don't kind of go like that. It's just going to leak a bit. Also, you will find out a lot of these teapots that there is a hole in the middle of the lid here and um, if you add your fingers directly on top of that hole water may not come out just depends on how well the teapot is made if it's made well when you hold it when you press that it will stop the flow um, so just um, you've got to just you know sort of try them out and um, and um, also that you may find it's actually quite hot to hold like this once your hot water is in, especially the first few times you're using it. So that's okay. I mean, just hold it the way you're comfortable, but this other hand should just, you know, guide it, just help it a bit, and just go straight. And then we have the guy one. Just this slightly trickier one. You know, once you get used to it, it's actually not too bad. So tea leaves in it, water in it, cover it, and just let it steep. So say for example, if I'm just drinking it for myself, I'm not pouring it into a cup or anything, then what you do is when when the desired strength is, is, is um, you know, it's there, it's reached, use the lid and just kind of gently just push the leaves away from you. And if you hold this, it might get a little hot, so you can actually do it like this. So your fingers are down there. So the lid, push out the leaves. And just drink it that way. 
Now, if you're actually using it to serve tea, and you could, what Chinese typically do is use this tea bowl or, um, or tea cup or tea jug, tea jug, I think that's the word, tea jug, and, um, and then you still actually, yeah, just, just tilt it ever so slightly with a tiny bit of a gap, finger, index on top, middle and thumb on the side, like so, don't forget your little um, gap there, the slit, and then pour it down. Now, go straight down. If you're going to go, oh, I'm not so sure, you know, and if you go angle, it gets everywhere. You're just going to got to believe it's going to work. <laughs> I just go straight down. And once you have got the tea in the tea jug, and this is nicely evenly flavored, so it's not like, you know, the first little cup from here, it's going to be quite light. The second one is going to be stronger and so on. So there's not going to be that sort of problem. So once you have got the tea jug, then you pour the tea evenly into the cups. And that's how you serve it with the guy one. So today we're just, just showing you very quickly these little tools that you can use to make your um, personal tea enjoyment um, more enjoyable. Go up to the next level. Have fun.